right, we are back here. Time is just about 922, and our next guest has dermatology in her genes. She is the daughter of two Minnesota dermatologists. Her mom and her dad own Advanced Dermatology Care, which has three clinics here in Minnesota. Dr. Andrea Rustad is now studying to follow in mom and dad's footsteps as a future dermatologist. And she's writing a children's book about a girl who suffers from a rare chronic skin condition. So we want to welcome Dr. Andrea Rustad. Hi. Good morning. Hey, thank you so much for having me with you today. I'm yeah. so honored to be here. Yes. Well, uh, say you're you were inspired by uh, a camp. That, that's kind of how this all started, Camp Discovery. Tell us a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. So Camp Discovery is an amazing camp that is run by the American Academy of Dermatology. It was started in Minnesota, and oh. um, there are two camps in Cross Lake, Minnesota in July this year. They're both a week long, so I volunteered there and met people with ichthyosis and other skin conditions for the first time. It's provided for kids with chronic skin conditions at free of charge for their families, and it really just offers them a wonderful experience to go to camp and enjoy camp without worrying about their skin conditions or feeling different. Wow. Kids from all over the country with conditions ranging from eczema or alopecia to things that are more rare such as ichthyosis and epidermolysis bullosa come to this camp and it's a really wonderful place. Wow. If you don't know a child that has a skin condition, you probably have no idea how challenging it is for them. I have a cousin whose daughter has alopecia. Is that is that how I say it? Yeah, yeah. And so she doesn't have any hair. Mm -hmm. And she's, you know, 10 years old and she's made fun of at school and she has zero control over this. So yeah. to have a camp that allows kids with skin conditions to go and just be them and not be different, what a special treat to have in our state. Yeah, it's really a wonderful place. Like you see all these kids from around the country, they just feel so free. You know, yeah. they're they're not covering their skin up with long clothing in the summer. They're wearing t-shirts and shorts by the end of camp, running around, they've made new friends with maybe the same skin condition or a different skin condition, and they just really feel so empowered. And you mentioned ichthy. Yeah, ichthyosis. So <laughs> ichthyosis. ichthyosis is a rare group of skin conditions that's characterized by scaling and flaking of the skin due to excessive skin turnover. And kids and adults with these conditions have to spend a lot of extra time caring for their skin, such as bathing, exfoliating, moisturizing. Kids will often even have to take breaks at school to go and do these things. It can affect their clothing choices and obviously have a really big impact on their self-esteem and self-image and can lead to a lot of bullying as well. So that was something that really inspired me to get involved with research and advocacy for ichthyosis in medical school and ultimately to write this children's book with the impact, um, the input of people with ichthyosis to really represent their experience as well. And I learned a lot and really got to connect with so many amazing people during yeah, this I experience. Bet. All right, so tell us a little bit about the book. It's called Skin, Skin Invincible. Yeah, so Skin Invincible is a story of a girl named Cece who has ichthyosis. And in the book, it takes us through a day in her life dealing with her ichthyosis, dealing with bullies, going through school, but also showcasing how even though her skin is an important part of her, it doesn't define who she is as a person. Mm -hmm. She's performing in the talent show. She's a great friend and sister. And so it really kind of highlights that you are more than just your skin condition, but we also show kids with other visible and functional differences as well to show that this message of being inclusive of those with differences is really more than just for a skin condition. So I really hope that children or adults, anyone who's ever felt different can hopefully identify with this book. I think just kids seeing, hey, this kid has the same condition as me. It's okay to, to deal with that and, and, and go through it. And, and it's, it shouldn't make you feel any, any different than, than anybody else. Yeah. Um, you also brought some products here. Uh, yes. So you have wonderful skin. Thank uh, you. We, we've been noticing. <laughs> uh, so what, what's, uh, what are some of your favorite products? And sunscreen obviously is a, a very yes, important one, especially sure. this time of year. It is sunscreen season. I mean, sunscreen should be worn year round every day. Even, you know, even if you're not going outside a lot, still important to wear an SPF of at least 30 and reapply every two hours, especially even more if you are swimming or have excessive sweating or something like that. Um, there's been so many more sunscreen options that are available now, so it can be really overwhelming to choose, but the most important thing is just to find a sunscreen that you like and you're actually going to wear. You know, it won't really help your skin very much if it's just sitting in your bathroom. Right. Yeah. So you gotta find one that you like. And so I brought a few that I really like with me. I think one thing that's really expanding right now is tinted sunscreens. It can really help with evening out your skin tone, especially if you have hyperpigmentation or for people with darker skin tones, it can really help to provide that sun protection without leaving like a thick white cast on the skin, which is a big problem with sunscreens, especially yeah. some of the mineral ones. But the mineral ones can be great and are often preferred because they are um, better for sensitive skin and more reef safe for the environment. So um, it's good to find kind of a balance 
balance with that. And so this one is new that um, is, has been made specifically to be blendable for all skin types. And then these two are also tinted. And then this one I really like as well. It really goes on really thin and it's um, oxybenzone free, which as I mentioned is more reef safe. And also if you look for the word non-comedogenic, it means that it's less likely to clog pores and cause acne, which is really important as well. All right. I never knew, knew you had to wear sunscreen even in the winter months. You did it? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I figured that it's the sun's still there, but yeah. I mean, you know. It I, actually reflects off the snow even more. So, you know, if you're skiing, a lot of times people will get sunburned and you don't think about it because it's the winter, but it's really important to wear it. Don't bu don't bully me. I'm not bullying you. I'm just surprised. Yeah, no bullying. I That's get the message. It. Yeah, <laughs> come on. We got the book here. I'm not bullying. I think this book is great, too. And I was reading some reviews on it and people say, even if you don't know someone with a skin condition, but you have a kid, it's a good book to teach them that kids are different and it's okay. And this is kind of how you handle things, too. Thank you. Yeah. And also um, to mention as well. So the profits from the book will be going to the Foundation for Ichthyosis and Related Skin Types, which is a wonderful organization that supports people of all ages and their families with ichthyosis. And also, I would love to thank them for their support with this book. The support um, for this book would not have been possible without the Foundation for Ichthyosis and Related Skin Types, as well as Advanced Dermatology Care and Dr. Amy Paller and um, the inspiration from Can't Discovery as well. So I'm really grateful for all those experiences that helped me to create this. Well, you're doing great things. You're yes. going to school to become a dermatologist, right? Yes. How are you feeling about that? You just... I'm so excited <laughs> yeah. and honored. It's, I mean, been quite a path to get there. It takes a lot of hard work. It so does. I'm really excited to be continuing that journey and to continue being connected with people with ichthyosis and other skin conditions and to be able to help them in the future. We'll keep up the great work. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's been so great to be here with you today. Of course. Andrea, thank you. And again, the name of her book is Skinvincible. And Andrea wants to make sure that these books get into the hands of teachers or really anyone who works with kids to let those children with chronic skin conditions know, listen, you're not alone. We have a link on our website if you'd like to purchase the book at minnesotalive.com. Well, have you